Alrighty. So here we are playing some more Tropico 6. And we are continuing on with the Industry Island Part 2. So let's get into it. Alrighty. So within around two years, two years and some change, we made it to the World Wars era, which is pretty good. Pretty good timing. Cruising right along. And so I'm trying to determine exactly how I want things to be. As a matter of fact, I think I know exactly what I want. I'm going to replace all this housing with apartment complexes. Um, I think I'm going to keep this main road kind of like, um, just with like a bunch of buildings that aren't houses or maybe like the occasional Teamsters office or whatever. So there's that. And so let me think. Okay. Um, it'd probably be most ideal to try and focus on at least some kind of industry for this era. We already produce tobacco, so maybe a cigar factory would be alright. But I don't really want to spend the time to build up a lot of plantations because I want to make it to the next, or to the modern times era as quickly as possible and get access to the hydroponic plantations. So for this era, let's go ahead and focus our attention towards lumber and wood. I think that would be good for now. Because we already have plenty of logging camps around. I think it's around two of them should be able to supply one lumber mill and we have three so we can definitely get down this lumber mill and then i think it's one lumber mill per one shipyard so we can get right along producing boats i think that'll be all right um, let's try and keep things a bit slow i don't want to quick build up too much too quickly we have a whole decade before the first election so I'm going to try and get people out of these country houses as quickly as possible. Check the edicts. I built up this entire neighborhood. I just realized all of this housing without having urban development enacted. Super huge oversight on my part, but I think it'll be okay. That would have saved us like, like 30,000, but I mean, it's already done. So what I could do is get this now and then I have five years of replacing all of this housing. Let's check the price on an apartment. 3000 down to 1500 That could be pretty good. And then all I would have to do is figure out a way to get electricity. And once we have electricity... This fire... Uh, yeah, this fire is not going to be put out. I'm just going to demolish the house. But once we have electricity, then we can electrify all these apartments and get a pretty decent housing happiness. For most of the population. Okay, so on top of that, we should focus on building up some additional entertainment buildings over time. We should replace our chapels with a church and get down a clinic and a fire station. I mean, I think right before that, what I should do is get the shipyard completely online. We have three logging camp so i'm gonna put this on the max budget i think that'll be okay for now and so because we have that now let's go ahead and put down a shipyard and boom just like that We should definitely set up an additional Teamsters office. We're 100% going to need it. Turn off allow local consumption if it's still on anywhere. Two cattle ranches. So now we have plenty of industry going on. We have a tannery as well as a lumber mill. Okay. So, already in terms of research, I don't think that there's anything in particular that I'm looking for. We should do the newspaper. It would be wise to start pushing everyone towards capitalism and we have the other option which is Gunny. So I'm going to make a militarist like supporting island. 
everyone towards the military faction, but I'm not gonna actually have any military. We already have um, pacifist state turned on, so like there's no need to specifically go out of my way for that. Paracove, let's put that on the max budget. I don't know if I'm gonna use this. Yeah, I'll probably end up using it for the rescue raid. But for now, we can just leave it. And let's go ahead and get down another Teamster's office, because I know 100% we're going to be using this. I'm going to get two of them, actually, here. The shipyard's going up. Very good to see. And let's hit play. Nice colorful little town going on. I think the next series is either going to be like a rural place using nothing but not country houses but the actual houses. So just like a whole huge area with just nothing but houses. Kind of like um, rural America. No skyscrapers, none of that. Just keep it really plain and kind of focus on the conservative faction. I think that would be a pretty fun little island to build up. But on top of that, I do have another idea, and that is for an island that focuses on the intellectual faction. And so create an island where 99 or like 90 plus percent of the population is rich. And so everyone's just living in mansions. People are just like flying around in the drones. And I'm going to do drones on this run. Someone wanted to, someone commented wanted to see them. So I think that would be pretty cool because I've never used the drones before. Check in on our grocery here. The only thing to eat is meat. But once we get some additional Teamsters up, then we should be okay. Um, check in on the popular. Let's go ahead and start doing the rescue raid. Start getting a bunch of people here. And so we're going to need like most of the population to be high school educated in the very least for this island. Because doing so many industry buildings and so many hydroponic plantations and power factories and stuff like that, we're going to need plenty of educated tropicans. And so I want to get a high school done pretty soon. Definitely not right now, but in the near future. And then I'm going to stack the modifiers, that like literacy program, and then on top of that we have another one somewhere. Um, something else. I want to get the efficiencies. All crop conditions are decreased by 40%. That sucks. Um, I doubt it'll last more than a year, but... Yeah, if we come check out the efficiencies, they're down to like... 50s and 60s and stuff. It's not great, but I think it's manageable. Still not making any money. But that is soon to change once we get the once we get the industry rolling. I want to build up just as many industry buildings as I possibly can. I think that's going to be like the major goal of this island. Every single industry, multiple times, as much production as we can wring out of this tiny island here, and just push everything to the absolute limit. I want to generate like as much money as I can with exports. I think that'll be pretty cool to see. Definitely not something that I've done before. Typically I'm like pretty restrained in building like a whole lot of industry. Kind of for no reason. So I'm kind of hoping that this playthrough will show me the like furthest benefits of going really, really ham with a lot of industry. So I want this to be like super efficient. So we'll see how things turn out soon we're already producing ships leather things are looking pretty good um it's got an input 9900 planks which is the output of the lumber mill so that's pretty good so it's one lumber mill especially since it has a higher efficiency in the shipyard should be able to comfortably produce the necessary planks for that and so what i kind of want to do is way later on once things are really cooking I want to check out the resource overview and like first off we're going to produce as much as we can. Get all of the raw resources. 
every single one of these we can produce them all and so i want to get all of them as much as we can and then use this to determine how many industry buildings that i can get in the future oh yeah i haven't even focused on this even a little bit but we are going to need some time to pass because we don't really have the money for it yet but let's go ahead and build up at least what we can we can do the embassy i mean really doesn't matter where it goes i kind of feel like i say that every time but i'm gonna just plop it there and we're gonna need a commando garrison which is pretty expensive so we'll wait on that um i mean actually i could get it now i think yes i can so let's go ahead and just do that screw it put this you know what i think it might be better to put it here can i fit it can't quite fit it over there but maybe over here i don't want it too close to the population but i kind of want it closer to the dock than way far away so we'll put it here I guess cool so we got the requisite buildings to make it through this era now we just need time tanneries running into problems but I figure that we definitely have the heights for it yeah so it's already been filled up it's gonna be a little bit of time before these teamsters catch up to the workload but should be okay and then I guess with the next chunk of money that we get, we should, yeah, here we go. We're starting to make a lot of money. This isn't even counting any boats. So we should make some pretty decent money pretty soon. And then I'll start using this money to build up our first bit of apartment complexes. And eventually I want to replace all of those with the skyscraper apartments. I think that'll be pretty nice. Milk is down trending. That should be okay. Capitalists want me to do something. Probably not going to. Alrighty. So that's enough to level up or get the urban development edict. So let's go ahead and get it. And let's just start replacing a little bit of stuff with the apartments. So if you didn't know, if you see the plants on the back of the apartment, you know that's the backside. So. Always make sure it's going the right way. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... It does if you want things to be efficient. So here is a bit of a problem with building... Me, building up um, your island kind of at an off angle. And so if we check out a road... Building a road, we can see that by default it wants to go at the diagonal of what we currently have our grid set up. And so this is the way that it's supposed to be. And you might notice that the Tropicans are kind of walking in a funny way. A lot of them are walking in the street and stuff. And so I've made like really big islands. And some of like sometimes I would build huge sections of it like off angle like this. And then you'll just notice like Tropicans are walking down the middle of the road all the time. It doesn't really look that good, but I mean, it's kind of whatever. And then if you make like a big grid like this with um the parks they'll like walk in like clip in and out of the parks i think that would be cool to see like changed a bit is just how they walk around it would be cool to see like crowds form and stuff like that because sometimes you like put a lot of work in and you do like a whole lot of planning and you make like these really intricate plazas and stuff and then you just get like lines of drones just walking through i think crowds would be pretty cool but I'm not sure. Maybe like scale. What's it called? Um, their happiness based on. Like fun happiness based on the local beauty. That would be pretty decent. Because it would be cool to see like crowds forming up. And kind of like sitting in the parks and stuff like that. That's something that you never really see. Checking on the grocery. 66 service quality. Pretty decent. So we do have some of the boats being sold, and now we're starting to get goods moved around, which is nice. Starting to run into homeless families, but pretty soon that will change. Are these buildings full? They are. So we should build up some additional 
bunk housing. I mean, I don't know how to feel about this because, well, no, this one's still kind of empty, so we'll leave it for now. But it would be ideal to set up areas for broke tropicans. There's lots of ways, if you check out the beginner's guide I make, there's lots of ways to deal with broke tropicans. Um, the reason they're broke is either they don't have a job or they're retired. And so you always want to at least consider them because 100%, no matter what, you're always going to run into some broke tropicans. And so one way to deal with that is to just build like stuff for them to use, like um, a bunkhouse on stack them higher. Let's broke tropicans live here, as you can see here, wealth required. And so we could build up a bunch of stuff for the broke people to use. And I cover everything that's like the most ideal in the beginner's guide. And so I could just do all of that stuff. Discovering it was highly susceptible to cigar smoke. The mildew which has plagued Tropico was finally eradicated today. Nice. Speaking earlier, the officer in charge of the operation said... <laughs> Man, I really love the voice lines in this game sometimes. But, back to what I was saying. We can either build stuff that accommodates Broke Tropicans... And that could be all right, or we could go so far as to just straight up enact social security, wherever it is. And I think I'm going to go with that. That'll probably be a bit better because that'll allow me to allow the students to receive a wage as well. On top of that, retirees. So once people retire or if they're an adult who's still going to school, then we won't have a bunch of broke tropicans because of that. We'll only have Rogue Tropicans if they don't quite have a job yet, so I guess we'll see. I want most of this island to be well off. As for the budgets on these, let's just determine... Yeah, let's keep it just whatever it is above 50, so we'll leave everything on those budgets there. And we'll slowly try to replace all of this housing with apartments. And of course the normal houses here the country houses they're gonna end up having a much larger footprint because only two families can live there and so especially with this design i have there's four families can live in a two by three but if we check out an apartment we can see the same footprint a two by three can house like what is that seven eight nine ten twelve families i think it even shows it here yeah oh ten households so over twice as effective in terms of space so that'll definitely be good and then these ones here these little houses i think what i'm going to do is just change these to normal houses because we can still easily get a, a what's it called um service quality of 100 from these or not from these we can but not quite so easily it'll end up costing more money looks like we're kind of not producing as much money as i was hoping my flock are blessed with faith, hope, and charity. And I hope I can have faith in your charity. Very well put, Sister Francesca. We should just start building up more industry then. I think that would be the go-to move here. So before we do that, maybe we can put a number, like maybe three more logging camps. And then do another lumber mill, another shipyard. I think that's going to be the move. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Oh man, I was hoping this would be super green, but it's not. I don't want to build everything like too far away. Could build a bridge to this area. And for some reason, down along the beach, we can put one here. Yeah, let's go ahead and just kind of... Put them in a bit closer. Whatever will work will be good enough. And let's do this one. Listener wrote asking, how can I help El Presidente win the war? The palace replies, vote El Presidente in the next election. Cosas. 
Very good. So now there's the logging. Just need to wait for the population to catch up to that. And let's go ahead and just straight up demolish this whole entire area. And replace this all with some apartment complexes. Can do a yellow. And then this one. I think that'll be fine. So there is that. Got a huge population just walking around. Someone's a criminal. If you ever see someone running, they're only criminals. Or they're fleeing from. Like live combat. Nice. Seven thousand. Mm. Yes. Oh. As a matter of fact, we do have this up. I should increase the budget all the way. Hopefully we can get people to switch to this building. Once it's full, I'll start doing the... Once the commando garrison's full, I'll start focusing on the... Requisite... Um... What are they called? Sabotage raids. We need four of them. And so... I want to choose... I guess I'll go with the allies. We'll choose, like, only the... West. Like America and Europe and stuff like that. This island is definitely perfectly like you could do this exact same thing trying to build all the industry as much industry as you can you can do this with like communism it could be pretty good um, I just want to go with capitalism so that we can have all the budgets set to the maximum without ever having to worry about it and so now we have the allies here let's go ahead and praise them and we just need like one trade deal with them so let's figure what we can trade we can trade our leather to them for a bit more money Go ahead and sign that. And then we kind of don't have anything else more too much. So we'll leave it as is. And then we can request an alliance. It's all gone pear shaped. And we need a steady hand on the tiller. Pear shaped, that's funny. Okay, so now all we gotta do is sabotage the axes four times. And now we can ask for financial aid, setting us back into the positive. Pretty good. And we're gonna need another lumber meal sometime soon. It does look like, yes, the population can kind of wander up onto this little mountainside to cut down the trees. So I'm gonna put the next lumber mill here. Running into problems with our hides again. Even though we have plenty. Plenty of plenty. Maybe it's just not enough teamsters yes we are definitely running into humongous teamster problems but i kind of feel like it was still just like a bit of lag like they're just lagging behind a bit 10 unemployed people let's go ahead and just build up some teamsters offices then um i don't really want them to be on like the main street there and then let's just demolish up a little area for the next one Oops. And I guess two more should be good. Let's put them on max budget. I'd rather get the goods moving first. And then I believe they should have finished. No, they haven't quite finished them yet. Max budget on all of these. There's one logging camp. This one's not done yet. So we'll hold off on the lumber mill for a bit longer you know what it'd probably be ideal to just quick build a construction office guaranteeing that we're moving a little bit quicker and i should get um more hands on both of them and we'll go max budget so that should help move things along pretty quickly More goods moving around, more buildings being constructed quicker. Positive feedback loop. Yeah, this is a pretty good angle. You can see the angle at which the Tropicans like moving. Plenty of goods in the grocery. Very nice. 
Um, we're definitely going to need some groceries, but I want to get the population well off enough to be able to afford a shopping mall. And so maybe, maybe like right next to this park, once we start building down all the roads this way, maybe right around here I can build up like a big old plaza, build like something. Maybe some statues of El Presidente around. And then, so with the grocery and the shopping mall, it's got the road input as you can see here on the side of the building. But like the front face of the building is like, on one of the opposite sides, not opposite, but on a different side. And so this allows you to do pretty cool things in terms of just like setting up good looking islands. Like I could put this grocery kind of in the middle here. And then like if I did put it here, then all I would need to do is build a road over to it and you can build like a nice looking plaza in front of it, stuff like that. And so I think what I want to do is do the same thing, but with a shopping mall. And so that'll look pretty nice way in the future. And then I want to maybe get the population up definitely over 2000, but pretty high. Now plenty of goods are being moved around as we can see here. Oh, these are the construction workers. Very nice. They're going to be putting everything together much quicker now. And that should comfortably put us over the limit there. We still have urban development enacted, so let's go ahead and just demolish up this entire city block here as well. We have the orange one there, the green blue one over there, so let's put a green blue one here. And then this one, not a green blue, but we'll do this one. Okay. So the apartment complexes with urban development are pretty cheap, so. And then on top of all of this, um, on the medium budget here, we're making like almost $120 a month off of them as compared to, you know, only, well, that's a bad example, only $24 a month off of each little house. So they're much denser, much more profit can be made from them, and they provide a higher housing quality, so all around better. And we're not spending a whole arm and a leg just to make them, so pretty decent. I'm not going to do any, um, what is that called when people come to the island? Tourism. I'm not going to do any tourism on this island. This island is strictly business, so I'm going to be focusing on, I should build up a college as soon as I make it to the next era. And with the college, we can get a lot of college educated tropicans and we can get them to work in the offices. And so that'll be pretty nice. So we'll, instead of doing tourism, we'll just go straight to offices. And once you start making it to offices, you can get to the point where you're just making so much money. It's just like tourism, but you need college educated tropicans for that. And so whenever I was a kid, like we'd always watch cartoons and stuff. And there was a cartoon called the Fairly Odd Parents. And in The Fairly Odd Parents, they made a movie. And it was called, I think, like The Fairly Odd Movie or something like that. Not the one with, not like the live action one. But in it, there's like these businessmen fairies. And so the only thing that I really remember was like the place that they came from had just like a bunch of offices. And I think it's funny, like fairies that work in offices, but like there was just a bunch of these offices and they look like the exact same building just like over and over and again and the fairies were just like really like boring and like all monotone and stuff and so someone's getting robbed but i thought that was like a pretty good like that's kind of what encouraged me not encouraged me it gave me like the vision for like this island build is like just a bunch of offices in a row like all the same and like a conservative attitude i think that would be pretty fun once it's all said and done Starting to get lots of apartments down. That's pretty good. I'm going to start collecting some pretty decent rents. Check in 
people are being pushed towards the capitalist faction and the militarist faction. Very nice. Check residential occupancy. People are moving out of the houses. Still have homeless families. Which isn't ideal. Hmm. Um, let's go ahead and purchase the house. So now we have the house here. And what I can do, because we've done that, is we can modernize. Not all of them, but I want to modernize all of these ones here. This is going to give us one extra like family slot on top of that. Oops, did I not get one? The rents are much better from these buildings, so. That's very nice. And what I could even do is change these to the show off work mode. And that'll increase the beauty nearby. And this is kind of like the park here. And so, on top of that, it will increase the service quality of these taverns. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. We need to research the house. And then we can control click the show off. And so then let's go ahead and lower all of the housing budgets by one. Giving us more room for net profit. But on top of that, it's going to lower the housing quality to just above 50, which is what we're aiming for. And the service quality, I didn't check it beforehand, but I think it did go up by like two points each on these guys. So that's nice. And I guess really with the rest of my money, what I should do is demolish up as much housing as I can all the time and replace it with these apartments. Yeah. Um, let's check what's next door. We can do the blue one. This one. And we'll just flip it. Hope that's not like looking too copy and pasted. Should be alright. Um, now that we're here, what I could even do is... So, whenever I set out to do these island builds, I don't plan on like... Like, I typically will push everyone towards like one side or the other for each faction. But for these first factions, I don't really care about making them too happy. Like, I don't want... Like, ideally, yeah, I would want the capitalist faction, everyone to be part of it, and then this to be 100. That would be most ideal, but I'm fine leaving it, like, at 50. And so, the reason I bring this up is because what I kind of want to do is, like, even it out. We can do no free lunch, but at the same time, you can get on social security, you know? Um, so things like that. And so, of course, no free lunch is a capitalist thing, and social security is a communist thing. And so it's going to even out. Hopefully somewhere right in the middle. Um, we'll be, you know, of course, a bit swayed more towards capitalists. Probably have it around like 60. Would be ideal. And then for the religious and militarist factions, kind of push things towards the militarist. But I'm open to kind of keep it even. And of course, once we make it to the industrialist faction, I want every single person to be part of that faction specifically. And that one we're going to try and get to 100. Like, definitely. Um, I'm wasting so much time, I just realized that, and money, we needed to do these a long time ago. Um, so there's all four of them, we just need to wait. And, let's see how much money I wasted, I wasted like $3,000. Not great for the early game, but over time it should be alright. Um, and all of the logging camps are done, I should have built, well I guess I was kind of focused on building up some additional housing which isn't bad let's definitely get the lumber mill down once we get the lumber mill down we'll build the other shipyard i think on this side will look good because it'll look like a huge dock of a bunch of different buildings uh we have people who don't want to live in a house even though they make enough money no it's because we don't have housing uh, i mean screw it we'll just quick build these two up And let's check the occupancy. Very good. So all of this housing that no one's living in, let's go ahead and destroy it. There we go. Just like that. 
reason I want to destroy it is because it's just going to be draining money over time. So might as well get it out of the way now. Let's check the beauty overlay of this place. Wow, look at that, 100. Pretty nice. And of course that is 100% due to the fact that we changed the houses to the show off work mode. Another, another one of these. We'll put this on low priority. Don't need it built up right now. Focus on anything else first. How much is it for another shipyard? 95k or 9500. And of course, because we have three additional l logging camps, I'm going to put this lumber mill on the max budget because it should have enough wood. We just need to make sure that these goods are efficiently being moved around the island. And so going with like a capitalist island like this, we could, I think communism is better suited for buses or, well, I mean, it's all like, of course, because no one's going to be able to drive cars on a communist island because no one's going to be rich, right? Unless you do the free wheels edict. And so I think capitalism is better suited for like the parking garages. But on top of that, I could just completely skip them and go to metro stations, which could be good as well. But I think I'm going to stick with the parking decks for this island, like only use those really. So you either have to walk to work or get a car. Lots of people just walking around in the street. And here we have a corner that is nothing but apartment complexes. We need to get down some more public service buildings soon. Um, I can't do any trades really. Maybe the allies will help us up, help us out, help us up. Anyways, still getting people to move onto the island. Very good. This is never going to get put out, so we might as well just demolish it now. Poor housing, broke housing. I hope our goods are still making it around. They kind of are. Yeah, I mean, they're doing alright. We're getting a pretty s decent stockpile of manure on these, which is nice because... Um, oh, I should change around. A Presidente's Palace because we're not doing the communist dictatorship no more. So let's just make it not white. I want to make it beige and then default. Go with the default windows. Ran down. Hmm. Let's go with stucco. The layout we can do the regular one. I think that's fine. Don't need the bunker no more. Let's do a mage or a hedge maze. And then maybe for the rooftop, a rooftop garden. I guess we can leave the flagpoles. They do look nice either way. And we'll leave this nice modern fountain out front. Very nice. Snap fits in a bit better. Could probably just fill this all in with parks and kind of just leave the palace here. No real point in moving it to some place specific. I have a feeling that there's going to be minerals up here. Yep. Typically how that goes. Still don't have like a whole lot of money. Let's test out hasty debarking because we are, we do have like a whole lot of logs coming through and logs are pretty cheap. So getting them produced to planks a bit quicker, I think is a good, a good deal at the cost of losing a lot of logs, of course.
I mean, I'm like 99% sure that this island is net positive right now. There should be like no reason that we're so deep into the negative. Logging camp, Teamster's office, plantation. Commando garrison's kind of costing us a lot of money. But I mean, it shouldn't be fine. Hmm. I guess hopefully just over time, we'll see if that's true or not. Maybe since we're kind of not doing too great, we can do some... Not rescue raids, but let's go and loot gold. I think that'll be good. Just to help out a bit. See how much longer we need to wait. Another eight months. Oh, maybe it's because our newspapers are so high up. Yeah, these are costing us a lot of money. Let's just make everyone just a well-off wage. At least like certain buildings. We'll leave this on 12. Try and make everyone well-off as much as we can. Okay, so that should definitely help out changing the newspapers around a bit. Teamster's office, we can't lower the office or the wages on that even though we have a lot of people working in them. Because that's going to start getting either very expensive very quickly or we're going to have poor people. So, gotta just leave it in the middle. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen an island that had a lot of car traffic, so I do want to kind of get a lot of cars driving. Or actually, we're going to have drones. What am I talking about? Yes, I've never set up drones, and so I'm very curious as to how well it works out. I wonder if there's like a wage thing. Maybe we can check. Drone delivery service. Drones fly from... Fly to and from specific destinations, delivering all types of goods. They fly independently between set destinations. They carry less than Teamsters, but aren't bound to the road network. Drones have a limited charge and need to recharge periodically. They also tend to crash every now and then. Any fallen goods are lost to thieving seagulls in an act of revenge. Okay. So, I believe... I've never done drones, so I think what you need to do is actually build drones which is fine because we are gonna have a yes um, we are gonna have this industrialist island so that's fine produce drones of any type each type of drone requires different resources to build completed logistics drones fly to where they are needed autonomously okay um, do we need to make batteries I think I mean I've like built the building I just never used it and I have kind of seen kind of what it does and I think one of them requires batteries I reckon they all take plastics in the very least maybe electronics I'm not sure we will see once we make it there and then there's also the drone taxi so let's check that out. transports people to their destinations within the area of effect okay curious how that works like do people need to walk to this building and then they go to where they need to go or do they like just kind of get picked up randomly and teleported to their destination i'm not sure we're gonna have to do some experimenting with these buildings once once we get them fully operational so this episode is pushing Pretty close to 40 minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. So we made some pretty decent progress. Started replacing all the housing with decent housing. Housing that gets us more money. Made this nice little area over here a bit nicer. So now the poor people can use the taverns and they get a pretty decent service quality. Over 50 is good, I think. And we are starting to spend a lot of money on our commandos but they're gonna help us make it to the next era we're pretty deep in the negative right now but it looks like we are gonna be making money over the foreseeable future so that's good and so yeah set up a bit of production as well just a handful of logging camps 
And so hopefully in the next video, we'll either be really close to or into the Cold War era. It's going to depend on which final task we get for this era, but we will see in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to follow along with this series or other series in the future, then be sure to subscribe. Peace.